Hello, fight fans. James Smith from In This Corner TV at the MGM Grand Saturday night. Mayweather versus Maidana 2. Before we get to the main event, the undercard should be pretty action-packed. It'll be Alfredo Angulo making his first comeback fight since the tough loss to Saul Canelo Alvarez. Mickey Bay going for his first world title. He'll be in tough against Miguel Vasquez for the IBF lightweight championship. And always exciting, Leo Santa Cruz defending his super bantamweight title against Manuel Roman. Leo, good to see you again, my friend. Yeah, no, thank you. Good to see you, too. Let's talk about uh, Roman, this uh, young man you'll take on on Saturday night on the undercard of uh, Floyd and, and Maidana, too. You know him pretty well. Talk about that. I know him since we were really small. We used to go to tournaments together. I used to see him fight. He, we used to be friends. And then when we turned pro, I used to help him out in sparring. When he was going to get a fight, he used to help me. So we, we, we were training in the same gym, gym for like four years. So I know him really well. He knows me. So I think he's a really great fighter. He has great punches, great style, great technique, everything. So I think he's going to be a great fight. We're gonna make, we're, and we're going to make it a good fight. When you spar with a guy like that, because back in my day, we had sparring sessions that were just sparring, and then we had sparring sessions that were actual close-the-doors fights. Did you ever have that type of session with him where you guys were really going at it? Yeah, no, we used to go at it. When we used to spar, we, me and him used to go at it. Not, not like in a real fight, but we used to still, but uh, like we, used to, we, we used to take it down a little bit, but almost like a real fight. In terms of your career right now, I always ask you this. I know you look to improve every time out. What are the things in this fight that you want to see in yourself to improve? Uh, I want to uh, uh, put my punches a little bit better, uh, not, not too sloppy and not too wild. I want to set my punch, power punches good. I want to lower, not, not too many punches, but like put them that, that they count, that make the punches count and try to hurt the other, the other fighter. Yeah. Do you watch films of your fights carefully? Uh, yeah, sometimes I watch them by myself because uh, I don't really like watching them with people because I get embarrassed. Uh, sometimes I see it, I'm doing something wrong and I feel embarrassed that they're going to be like, oh, you did that wrong or you look wrong. So that's why I like doing it by myself. And I, I watch them like once in a while. In terms of, I don't want to look beyond this fight, but we'll look beyond it anyway because I get asked all the time, hey, is, you know, is Leo going to fight a, a Rigando or, or a Nonito or... I know you're focused on Saturday night, but you, you're a fighter. Who would be on your hit list after Saturday night? Everything goes good Saturday, you win, you come out healthy. Who do you want to fight? Uh, I think Frampton. Uh, Frampton or Scott Quigg or Guillermo Ringos, like you said. But Frampton, he, is turned, he became the IBF new champion, and he's a great fighter. I think me and him is gonna, will make a great fight because he comes forward. He's, he has power and everything, so me and him, I think, does the best fight it could be right now. You're a long guy, you know, tall. How long at this weight will you stay? Do you see yourself moving up anytime soon again? Yeah, no, I think two more fights. I think two or three more fights, and then see how it goes, and then we'll move up and wait. If, if you weren't boxing, if you, if you weren't a prize fighter and had won these world titles, where would you be without boxing right now? Uh, I think I would be working a, on a minimum job job because uh, I got out of school too. Because of boxing, I got out, but I think... Uh, I would be maybe construction or one of those jobs that is hard, 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 hard jobs. Sport has really changed your life. Yeah, of course, it changed my life really a lot. Uh, before, I remember when we didn't have to eat or to, to go to the gym, we had to go walking or in the bus and stuff like that. But it really changed me and I'm really happy. And, and I don't know, I, I owe it out to the sport and to my manager and to my promoters. Who's your favorite fighter to watch when you're not fighting? Um, right now, it's Pacquiao. I like watching Pacquiao, Cotto, and many, many four fighters. That I watch. Yeah. Like oh, Mayweather, too. Yeah, I watch like. Okay, he, you, gotta, you better yeah, say yeah. Floyd, you're yeah, on his no, coat yeah, again. No, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, him. I was fighting because he was in this guy, but yeah, I like Floyd. He, he's a really good fighter. He's very smart. Well, boxing fans love to watch you fight. Look into that camera and tell them what's going to happen on Saturday night. Saturday night, I, you got, I'm going to come out there and bring like, whatever what Leo Santa Cruz brings all the time. Go out there, throw a lot of punches, try to finish the fight before the tour rounds and so that all the fans and could go home happy. Mickey, let's talk about uh, Saturday night, your opponent Vasquez. What do you know about him? Uh, I know he's been a champion for a few years. Uh, crafty fighter. Yep, but um, 
he fighting another crafty fighter Saturday, so it's going to be a good matchup. You know, when I, when I come into the gym, the Mayweather gym, and I've watched you and I've watched you fight, one of the things I've wondered is, is there extra pressure being a Mayweather fighter, training in that gym, working around Floyd, working with Floyd? And talk about that, if you will. It can be. I don't, it's not pressure for me, but overall it is because no matter what, it's not going to be enough. I don't care how I win Saturday. It just won't be, you know, Mayweather is the top guy. And then at that, whoever is against Mayweather is automatically against me because I'm a Mayweather fighter. So it's mainly things like that. Talk about the positives of being in that gym, in that environment, and working around Floyd. Talk about the, some of the... Many more positives, which is a great thing. Uh, one, I train with his dad, so I get to learn a lot of the stuff that Floyd learned from his dad. And, um, and I get to watch Floyd in and out of the ring because boxing is not just in the gym. You know, people, it's, it's the whole lifestyle and it's a thought process. It's everything outside of the ring, and I just watch Floyd, and just and I can see why he's where he is, and I'm just trying to come work my hardest to get you know as close as I can to it. With what's happened with uh, Love recently, and your one setback, do you feel extra pressure going into this fight for yourself? Um, no, you know I just take one fight at a time. Uh, you know I feel that my loss was me. I kind of gave it up by showboating at the end, which I never usually do. You know I was up like 10 to zip had I not had I did what I always do and just handle business completely so I think it was more of a lesson outside of the ring like stay keep your character the same and stay who you are and it was a slap on the wrist is the way I took it so now you've seen me in action uh in calling fights with fighters in the ring have you learned anything from any of my stuff yeah I learned uh, you got great energy and a great spirit great guy like you know um that's what I thrive off of, you know, that's why people call me the spirit, you know, uh, everybody when they meet me, they say, man, you got a great spirit. So a lot of things I've been through, I just always remember that, to keep that the same and know that it's life outside of boxing. So you just said something, though, that, so, so me is that putting on my pugilistic professor hat. I just like your um, energy and everything. I like people. That, I just like overall genuine good people. But let me tell you what, what, I, what you said that's smart. Closing. All great athletes, it, it, you know, every, and it just like a horse race. You start the race, you got to close the race. And so you said it. You just got to stay focused for right. 10, 12, however exactly. many rounds. Yeah, you and don't close. play. And, I mean, I, I did a good job. You know, everybody enjoyed the fight. He was a tough opponent. I beat him. Easy. I think the easiest that anybody ever beat him. But, you know, by me stepping outside of who I am and my character, I paid for it in the last 30 seconds. So, that's more hurtful to me than actually losing the fight in the first round because I dominated him. But, you know, it was, that was more of a lesson outside of the ring to me. So look into that camera and tell the folks what's going to happen on Saturday night. Saturday night is going to be a new champion, and um, it's going to be a great fight. So tune in and watch me and, and, and Miguel Vasquez put on the show Saturday. Let's just go back to that Canelo fight. I just want to say, have you, have you watched the tape of the fight? I'm curious. Honestly, I don't see the the no. fight. I, I I don't like to see the fight when when he lost. Never I see honestly, yeah. he never I see the the fights before and lose and win. I, I don't see the fight. I don't like to see the fight. I, I don't know why. But well, I don't like to watch myself on TV either. So I understand that. Let's talk about now. You've been with Virgil a while now. Do you really feel comfortable with him? And talk about the improvement you you feel as a fighter working with Virgil. Honestly, he's a uh, he's really good match for Virgil and me. You know, Virgil is a tremendous and trainer, uh, and he not working in ego change my style. I said my style, you know, he teaching me a little things and my different or oh, oh, different work with me, bro. When in the same style, you know, Shane, nothing. How do you describe your style? A little Mexican, you think, or what? <laughs> the normal Mexican, he goes to the front and he moves the hand and he throws punches. How important is it for you? 
you obviously want to win every fight, but how important is it for you to make the fans happy, to please your fans, namely the Mexican fans? Uh, all boxing fans enjoy watching you fight, but how important is that for you? For me, honestly, he's the first point defense all the time. A lot of people team asking me, hey, when you fight him for the world champion, you know? Honestly, I don't care if he's the champion of the world or no. Honestly, I love the people when the people come to see my fights. He go when when he go live, he say he go he go live happy when he see a tremendous fight. He's he, he's he's me. Who's your favorite fighter of all time? Of all time, I have two. I have two. It's uh, Ricardo El Finito Lopez. <laughs> what a beautiful fighter. He never lost. One draw against Alvarez, and he, he avenged that. I was at both of those fights. Yep, and Julio Cesar Chavez. They both Mexican? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen on Saturday night? Honestly, he's uh, in my fight. And, uh, Your fight? Mayweather. Honestly, he, he's, uh, he's ready for the comeback, and he's the new way. He fighting at 160. And, and he working for the people who see the, the, the old dog, the dog he, he ready for, for, for the for come back and they stay really comfortable in 160. Look into that camera and tell the folks what's going to happen in your fight on Saturday night. You know, on the Saturday night, the dog fight, he's the same the all the time. It's a tremendous show, and in the front, the, the, the La Rosa is a really good fight for the fans. And Angulo will be in his face. Yep. Best, best of luck. Thank you so much.